Hi Wolf Nation, and welcome back to another video. And for this month, we're introducing our Spooky Nation. Ah! Sorry about that. Let's get to our video. Hello. Hi, Sienna. Who's your favorite news channel? Not Ken's Five, no, no. High school wise. Uh, uh, PHS News? Nah, bro. I'm watching you. So I'll give you one more try. Uh, I don't know. Um, Mia's Messy Vlogs? Are you hotter? What? No! Wrong answer! For some DHS announcements. <laughs> hey, Wolf Nation, my name is Ashley, and these are your high school announcements. Our cross country competed at a district and qualified for regionals. Congratulations to our boys team who earned second place in district and qualified for regionals. Chloe Rodriguez represented the Lady Wolves and placed sixth in district. She also qualified for regionals competition. Regionals will be held October 25th. Congrats and good luck to all our runners. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Wolf Nation, here are your middle school announcements. Our Lady Pups volleyball team will travel to Poti on Monday the 18th. Our middle school football boys will travel to Stockdale Thursday the 21st. Make sure to wear orange on Wednesday, October 20th to support child abuse awareness. Sorry, sorry. Uh, don't forget that our, our JV football boys play on Thursday here in Diddy, and on Friday, our varsity boys play in Stockdale. Thank you, bye. So make sure you go out and support. Back to you, Wolf Nation. Hi, Wolf Nation. I'm here at the elementary with Mr. Gano, the fine arts and music teacher. And sir, what is the importance of teaching these youngsters music and fine arts at such a young age? It's very important to introduce music uh, and fine arts to the younger kids uh, to help them um, to help them realize that there, there are other ways to express their feelings and emotions and for them to be able to build character for their future life. All right, sir. And what are you teaching these grade levels at the moment in your class? Pre-K and kinder, I usually, uh, I usually let them watch uh, Little Einsteins because it helps, it helps them get, it helps them direct, uh, get directed and guide them through the basics of uh, music. And that's pretty much it. And how about uh, first through fifth grade, sir? First through fifth grade, um, I use a website called Music uh, Quaver Music, and it helps me direct them to the very center of uh, music theory. All right. Well, thank you, sir, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Such a screeching, you'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shrieking. Spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Spooky scary skeletons and speak with such a screeching, you'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shrieking. So sorry, skeleton. Hi guys, and welcome back to Wolf Nation. Today I'm here with Coach Ramirez and Coach Hernandez. And the question is, did you envision yourself coming back to Dili and coaching? Yes, I did. But, you know, to be honest, I didn't think it was going to come this fast, but I'm glad it did. And I, I, I'm excited about it, and it's really fun, and I enjoy it a lot, actually. And how about you, Coach? <laughs> no. I what did he say? Hey! Oh, I didn't, actually. Uh... Oh, sorry.
Sorry I didn't see you there. I guess I was in a rush to get you to meet our running wolf pack. We want to congratulate all the cross country runners that are advancing to regionals. Coach Rodriguez, do you have any thoughts or comments you'd like to share with us? Yes. Um, so on the boys' side, um, we knew it was going to be a dog fight and it was going to be between us, Poth, Natalia, and Poteet um, for that second place finish. And we were predicted to come out sixth place and uh, we ended up coming out second place and getting district runner-up champions. Uh, despite facing adversity and all of our, some of our guys being injured um, during the season, it all came together at the end and it paid off as they came out and proved why we deserve second place. Um, on the girls' side, Chloe Rodriguez was our only wolf, um, lady wolf, that competed for us. And uh, she did well. She's been a competitor at every meet and placed in almost every meet. And uh, it's tough being the only girl in the program, but, you know, she sticks here and she sticks to the guys and she puts in the work and she was able to get that sixth place finish and uh, um, punch her ticket to regionals. And so we're excited to see what how regionals turns out on October 25th, Monday. Come out and support if you can. Hi, Wolf Nation. I'm Denise Terina here with Anthony Guerra. Anthony. What did you do differently this season to ensure that you would make it to regionals? Well, last year I had suffered from hip injury a week before district and it was really heartbreaking. So this year I ensured stretching properly, stretch, um, rolling any pain that I had to make my body back to 100%. And also last year I focused more on endurance, how much I could run. And this year I focused on how much I can run, and how fast I can run. And I have the honor to interview our only girl cross-country runner, Chloe Rodriguez. How does being the only female on the cross-country team influence you this season? Being the only girl on a cross-country team has challenged me in many ways. Trying to keep up with the boys, pushing myself in every workout killed me, but it all paid off. Thank you, Coach Rodriguez, Coach Flo, for never doubting me and pushing me when I didn't have good days. Regionals, here we come. Make sure you go out and support our Chloe Rodriguez. Come back for another Wolf Nation next week. Or else. <laughs> <laughs>